Hey everyone, welcome back into my world, Jewelry with Jen. And thank you one and all for um, you returning subscribers. And if you are not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button at the end of my video if you like it and think I deserve it. Give me a like and thumbs up. So listen guys, I have an idea. <laughs> I had a light bulb moment. And I'm like, you know, what if I just use these little... I have these little um, butterflies and they're really, really small and they're really cute. And I got them in a stasher bag that I purchased recently. And I thought, hmm, what interesting thing can I do with that? Oh, what if I just use them with chain and nothing else? No beads, no beading wire, just chain. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to make a, a new project today and we're going to make it together and see how this turns out. So again, light bulb idea. Not sure what's going to play out on the mat here, but I'm so glad you guys are going to join along with me. So basically, if you are interested in trying something like this, all I have is some four millimeter um, uh, flat uh, chain in silver, um, and this is SST, surgical stainless steel. Um, and I have some six millimeter jump rings, a toggle clasp, and these little butterfly spacers. They have a hole welded, a little loop on the top and the bottom of each of these little spacers, and they're really, really cute. So that's all you're going to need along with, of course, a couple of tools. Um, I think we're just going to need some chain nose and some either two pairs of, of pliers, any two um, chain nose, flat nose, bent nose, whatever pliers you've got laying around. And then to cut your chain, just use some side wire cutters or some side cutters. And that's it. So we have minimalist at its best, right? So um, I'm going to start, I think, pumping out a couple of videos here and there about minimalist jewelry, minimalist style, because I really like it. Um, and I haven't been making a lot of it lately. So I posted a video yesterday um, or a couple of days ago about uh, minimalist earrings. And I'm like, yeah, let me go ahead and, and bang some out. Let's see what comes out here because I don't wear it enough and I actually like it. So that's what we're going to do. So exactly the supplies that you will need, I just explained. Let me give you your count of each item. So one clasp, and I'm using a rope toggle, but you know what? You guys can use any clasp you want. I'm using 12 six millimeter jump rings, and these are also in SST, surgical stainless steel. I'm using five of these little butterfly. They're actually like connectors, right? I'm using five of those. And then I'm using some surgical stainless steel chain. Now, I have cut two pieces, four inches, one piece, two inches, and one piece, one and a half inch. Okay, let me do that again, just so that you guys get it down. So you're going to use Two, cut two pieces of chain that are four inches long each. Cut one piece of chain that is two inches. And then cut a fourth piece of chain one and a half inches long. And this, by the way, is going to be a choker. So I think we're going to land right at 16 inches by the time we're done with those measurements I just gave you. So let's jump into it, you guys, and see what we can come up with. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to put like maybe three on one side and maybe like two on the other. Let's see how this works out. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a jump ring. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Let's do this, guys. Let's open all the jump rings right now. And you know what? Just because <laughs> there are no rules. There's no rules, friends. Just because I'm thinking, okay, we're going to be using a lot of jump rings. Maybe this will move faster if I just open all these jump rings at the same time and just let's get them all open. 
and or a, a majority of them anyway, and let's see what happens. So, hope you guys are having a good week. I'm having a fairly decent week. Hasn't been the greatest, but it hasn't been the worst. But, you know, I can't complain. Doesn't do any good anyway, right? <laughs> can't complain. Okay. So, let me just put, like, a couple of those to the side. And I'm just opening several of these just to see if maybe that'll help my moving along. Okay, so I just opened a bunch of my jump rings, okay? So I think what we're going to do to start is let's grab a piece of our chain and let's put, let's do the three on the one side first. So let's grab a jump ring and we'll feed it on the last link of that chain and then let's feed on one of our little butterflies and then we'll close that up. Okay, so the that's the first one I did. And obviously you can see where this is going. We're just gonna use the jump rings um, to connect everything. That is what's in my head. And we're going to see how it plays out. Okay, so then to connect the next one, I'll grab another jump ring. And we'll put a jump ring on there. Now you will be mindful as you are going along here that your butterflies or if you're using any kind of a link connector that has a design on it and has an obvious top and bottom that you're putting them feeding them on the right direction so i just did my first two now let me stop and make sure did i put them on the right direction i did not see ha huh. I put them on backwards because these are only one-sided. Okay, so then let me flip you around. Okay. Okay, flip-flop and close you back up there. Okay, and there we go. Now you're the right direction. Okay, so now for my third one, same thing, we'll just feed a jump ring on them. I'm, I'm putting it on my mat now to see just what I'm dealing with here. Okay, yeah, and then it goes this way. Okay. I'm trying to make sure I'm getting them on the correct direction and the correct facing the correct way. Okay, so that's what I did so far. So I started with the first four inch piece of chain Put a jump ring on it and connected all three of my little butterflies. And that's looking, looking pretty cute so far, guys. Okay, so now what I'm thinking, let's get you guys facing right, is I want to take that one and a half inch piece of chain. And I think I'm going to use it over here. So I'm thinking let's put on the two inch piece of chain here. And then let's see. Let's see what happens. So... Let's grab another jump ring. Okay, and we're gonna feed that on that last loop of that butterfly there. And then I'll find the last link of this two inch piece of chain. And just gonna feed that on there. And let's close that up and Like that, okay. So now we've got the two inch piece of chain on there, okay. And now, let's see. Now we would, let's do, like maybe we'll go like that, that and that. Maybe we'll do it that way. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. That might be cool thinking that might look kind of cool but let's see 
because I'm getting to the point where like this is going to be hanging, I'm thinking, at the front of the neck. And I don't want like it to look funky or weird. But let's give it a shot and see. So now I put that two inch piece on. Let's grab another jump ring and another one of our link connectors. Let's add it there. So I'm just going to grab the last link of that chain. And that was the two inch piece of chain. And now I really have to make sure I'm putting these on in the correct direction. Of course, they're flipped upside down here. Okay, let's see. Okay, and so then I would be going up this way. So now I'm going to feed it that way. Okay. And just closing your jump rings as you go. Okay, so now, now I'm going up. Okay. And then maybe what we'll do is then, so we could add these two together. I mean, really, there are no rules. I'm just trying to think as I'm pop the video on with you guys. What do you think? I mean, we could put the piece of chain. This is the one and a half inch piece of chain in between and have them like that. I kind of like that. Let's go that route. So let's grab another jump ring. And we will put it through the top here, my little butterfly. And then we will grab the chain. So now I'm putting on the one and a half inch piece of chain. Just find the last link of your chain. Feed it on your jump ring. Close the jump ring. Okay. And now we will grab another jump ring and add the last little butterfly link. But now I'm really needing to make sure that I'm paying attention that my chain is not all twisted up. So let me do that because I think that's kind of a smart idea, you guys, is kind of let me make sure, you know, it's designed to twist, you know, on the body in its natural way, but I just want to make sure I'm putting it together correctly to where when it's flat, that it's not looking all weird. So I'm just laying it down flat. There we go. Okay, did that work it out? Yeah, that worked it out. Okay, so now let me lay that piece out flat. Okay. And let me just feed a jump ring on that last link of that one and a half inch piece of chain. And then put my little butterfly on that direction. So that's correct. And close my jump ring. I think I, I feel like I've just said that 300 times in one video. Open my jump ring, close my jump ring. Open, close, open, close. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. What are you doing here, guy? Here we go. I'll twist it up. Okay, so that's good. Now let's make you flat. Well, if I just picked it up the first time, it would have gone faster. Okay, and now we're going to connect our last one. So I'll put a jump ring on the top there. And the last link of this uh, four inch piece of chain. Feed that on my jump ring. And close the jump ring. <laughs> oh my gosh, forgive me, guys. I'm just silly today. Okay. So let's see what we've got here. Let me just... Because all I have to do now is add... I just like to flatten that out. Let me just put a jump ring on that last link of that four-inch piece. And... Feed my toggle.
I'm gonna spare you to even say it. <laughs> you know what we're doing next. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. And then all I have to do is, oh, as it turns out, I told you 12 jump rings, you know what? Oh, I know why, because I wanted to um, just make a link connector, or extender, excuse me, a link um, extender at the end with out of some jump rings. That's why I pulled out 12, because I um, was just like, wait a minute, did I tell them too many? I said 12. No, it's 12. And then we will feed on that toggle, and I'll grab those last two. And then we'll close this. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do, oh, I just did that wrong. And I literally just said it, you know why? Because I'm so silly today and I'm so into like seeing what I'm doing as I'm talking to you that I just realized I'm making an extender. It's what I just said. <laughs> so I'll feed that on there. I'm gonna do three links. So hence three jump rings at the left side here of the necklace and then add my toggle. Okay, so let's see what we have. Let's see what happened here. Oh my goodness. Okay, that is just too cute. I can get him to face the right way. Look at how cute this is, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's adorable. Just like it was in my head. And they're, you know, they, they're, they're gonna face the right way. I'm pretty confident of it. Let's lay it down because it's twisted oval curb chain. So I'm pretty, yeah, because see, when I put it this way, they all go the other direction. So yeah, so we're good. And you know, I probably could have even used like smaller jump rings. You could probably get away with using four millimeter jump rings on this one, I feel. But you know what? You'd have to increase your chain size. So yeah, so there you go. That's what we just made and that's really cute. So that's how that turned out. I think that's really cute. What a cute little minimalist choker. I like it. What do you guys think? I think it's really cute. It's adorable. You see it? They just keep flinging around. But it, anyway, it's really, really super adorable. So that's it. So hope you guys enjoyed that. And just as I'm ending my video, of course, somebody's car alarm is going off. Sorry about that noise, guys. So until next time, friends, I hope you enjoyed and be well.